And that's someone, well, talk about a hundred someones. Take a look. We're on the corner of Century and Hoover here in South Los Angeles, where it's been a very busy and violent night. This is one of the looting locations, the AutoZone store, happening shortly after a street takeover that police are investigating to see if it is connected. Right now, they believe it is. First, the street takeover, and then about a hundred people or so broke into this auto zone. They smashed the glass on the front door there, and then they basically tore open that metal fence. And take a look. You see officers with all of those things right now? We believe those items being returned to AutoZone managers right now were found inside a car that was involved in a pursuit. Again, it's been a really busy night. When LAPD's helicopter arrived over the scene here of this looting, they followed a car that was leaving with several people inside, and the pursuit was on. Obviously, the driver didn't want to stop. He did stop for a minute under an underpass where the chopper couldn't see him, and police believe that several of the suspects got out there. The driver just kept on going until he got to El Segundo, where apparently he got tired and gave up, and we believe all of those items now being returned by the LAPD. They're being taken out of a black and white cruiser were found in that suspect's car. There is merchandise all over. It's all over the street here at Century and Hoover. And this isn't the only location, we understand, where there was a smash and grab. We're trying to get more information. And there you see even more items being returned again by LAPD to the managers of AutoZone, which are inside right now with officers. Coming up, we're going to have some video that will show you what the scene looked like as a mob broke in. And I was mentioning another location, another mob breaking into a smoke shop. Unclear if it's related to this, but again, it's been a very violent night in South Los Angeles. It's a story we're going to be following right here on Good Day LA. For now, I'm Gigi Graciette live. I'll send it back to you. And Gigi, the video was just unbelievable behind you. And you said, you know, dozens of people ransacked that store. Do we know how they were able to all get away? They, you know, this is this happens in a matter of seconds. They run in. They don't. They, most of the time, they're not even. Uh, they don't even look to see what they're grabbing. They just grab anything they can carry and then scamper off into the night. And that's exactly what happened here. Police arresting one suspect believed to be connected. His buddies got away when he stopped uh, under an underpass, and they arrested him only after a pursuit. He made it all the way to El Segundo, where they took him into custody. And we've been watching Coco as police return all the merchandise they found in his car and he's uh, behind bars right now and they're actively looking for other suspects and you know what a lot of folks Coco and Brooke have their cell phones on when this was all happening and they recorded it all and it's been posted online. Wow. All right, well, be able to see that next hour. Gigi, thank you.